What up, YouTube? What is going on? Welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, where we talk about country virtual topics in anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante. And we are back with another video, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in yet again. Your support keeps me going. Thank you so much for your support. Um, guys, <laughs> I feel like once every year, at least for the past three or four years, uh, we have the same discussion regarding Yamato on if she is a woman or trans or whatever or 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 hold on um <clears throat> i know maybe she's just a f a tomboy <laughs> uh, i don't know um that could be a massive possibility you know tomboys exist in our reality um just saying y'all ever think about that hmm and until the godfather of anime, Ichiro Oda, comes out to state that the character is indeed trans, I will continue to believe that she is just a dope tomboy or tomboyish character, right? Tomboys need love, y'all. I know. <laughs> Shocker, right? But yes, tomboys need love. Jesus H. Christ, y'all are just exhausting. <laughs> Seriously. Anywho, we are here at Bonding Into Comics. The article says, um, Toy Animation throws support behind incorrect belief that One Piece heroine Yamato is a transgender man. From Fishman to the LGBTQ, ever since it set sail in 1999, Ichiro Oda's One Piece has regularly featured some of the most naturally diverse cast members in the history of both manga and anime which is true uh which is true uh but despite this series wide range of characters each with backstories appearances and personalities different from the last uh trans activists have made a battleground out of the identity of the recently introduced daughter of emperor kaido yamato <laughs> oh yeah stop it Get some help. So here we go again, guys. Here we go again. So fam, let's go through this one more time. One more again. I, I like how the article comes with receipts proving that Yamato is indeed a girl. Before I go any further, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I could definitely use your support in growing this channel because y'all yeah, already know that uh country virtual channels on youtube do not get a lot of love we tend to get shadow banned quite often um no one gets to see our videos even though they hit the notification bell so um yeah so all your your support is greatly appreciated hit the subscribe button and drop a like if you enjoyed the video and it'll help with the algorithm a lot drop a comment to start a conversation and you might as well do me a solid and follow me on Twitter. Link to that will be in the description box down below. Fam, it's free. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I might as well just hit that button. That way y'all know when I post the videos. Follow your boy. Let's get into it. The article goes on to say, according to them, because the Yamato is a tomboy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who uses male pronouns, a, a habit born from both being abusively raised as a boy by her father in order to fulfill his desire for a son and wishing to follow in the footsteps of her hero kuzuki odin she must be a transgender man unsurprisingly they also considered any dissenting opinion as outright transphobic guys oh no criticism and disagreements as long as it's respectful doesn't equate to transphobia I don't know if anyone's told you guys that, but yeah, this I am. I'm sure the people who follow me, for the most part, I would say we all don't care for trans characters. We, we would love to see more original trans characters. That's there's nothing wrong with that. But this stuff which I be doing here, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just continue. Um, drop your comments down below. Y'all feel me? Anyway, 
Further fuel was added to the debate when, in January, in a January 27th tweet promoting Yamato's fight against her father in episode 1049. Good God! It has that many episodes? <laughs> I have a long way to go. I'm sorry, ranting. The One Piece anime, the English Toy Animation Twitter account referred to the aspiring Straw Hat member with masculine pronouns. I'm giving y'all a side eye. Look at the screen. This is me giving them an evil glare. <laughs> toy Animation, America, English Toy Animation. Y'all getting a side eye right now. Y'all are not helping. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> stop it. Okay. Yamato rages against his father to free Wano, wrote to Studio Catch, the latest episode of One Piece streaming now on Crunchyroll. Here is the tweet right here, posted uh, a few days ago, uh, as you can see. So, yeah, I guess this is where the problem kind of started, <laughs> right? Um, and you guys know when stuff like that is posted on Twitter, certain people on the internet kind of like just run with it you know what i'm saying they, they kind of just go with it like oh wait they're using this pronoun and that pronoun so it must be true <sighs> boy oh boy however contrary to toy animation's tweet there is overwhelming evidence to prove that yamato is in fact a cisgender woman sure uh, upon first being introduced at the end of chapter 984 of the One Piece manga, though she claimed that she has chosen to be a man, Yamato introduced, is introduced via text box as Kaido's daughter. I guess it's one of the uh, chapters right here. As you can see right here, it says, Kaido's daughter self-died Kuzuki Oden Yamato. So, yes. It's not uncommon for tomboys to idolize um ha or ha have um male role models right and they might want to emulate said real role model um in this case a man it's not uncommon it happens quite often tomboys would act or carry themselves or act rather masculine while also being accepting of them being still uh being a woman <laughs> it's this is something we grew up with. <laughs> if you were, if you're in my age group, this is not uncommon. You went to school, high school, college, university with tomboys. This is not, and, and it, it, they sometimes, eventually, they outgrow it. They end up being more feminine and whatnot, and it is what it is. Jesus, how is this a controversial topic? <laughs> Good God. Um. I'm ranting a lot, guys. I know. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just like, why? Why, why, why do you persist? <laughs> you feel me? Anywho, thank y'all for hearing me rant. <laughs> Any continuing. Notably, Yamato's gender declaration is directly cited by activists as evidence that she, uh, the brave warrior is a transgender man. However, as uh, detailed by Twitter user Nox D. Raz, I hope I didn't butcher that. <laughs> the read is. Yet yeah, another case of Western readers taking the Japanese language too literally. Uh, this, this is a tweet right here. I'm guessing it says the uh, I choose to. No, it says the I choose to be a man is not meant to be taken literally, but rather as I choose to become Odin, who happened to be a man. The difference is pretty big, and as far as I know, nowhere does Yamato state in in Japanese that she wants to become a man in general. What did I just say a few seconds ago? <laughs> I, I know, I know. Um, I, I'm pretty good at what I do, I suppose. It's not uncommon for women to idolize men. And, and, and you know, it, it, they're tomboys or whatnot. It, it's normal. But, um, yeah. Uh, it says, further, as translated by Nox Iraz, Oda approved character profile featured on Yamato's official collectible Viver car confirmed that the 28 year old Kanabo club wielder is in fact a woman. It says so right <clears throat> here gender, female. So <laughs> there is that. And then more. This one I actually wanted to talk about. It's a little bit quote to the bottom right here. It says Yamato has was even featured in a February 2021 One Piece Heroine's Color Spread illustrated for Weekly Shonen. 
jump by a number of artists from its sister shoujo magazine ribbon the spread was pronounced uh, produced to commemorate the publication of one piece a thousandth chapter now it's a picture i'm assuming of all the women of one piece hence heroine but who do you see right here in the can i do this here let's see all right right here second to the left right far left who do you see standing amongst the other heroines in the hotel <laughs> right um for you to be a heroine you would have to be a woman so yeah toy animation english or america or whatever you want to call yourselves you've got some splitting to do <laughs> you gotta fix yourself immediately okay toys use of male pronouns is also quite the contradiction of their tweet from november 3rd 2022 in which they explicitly wished a happy birthday to the princess stating happy birthday to the oni princess yamato oh my oh no oh no <laughs> throws your whole argument out the window <laughs> out the window whoa like i said i feel as though we had this talk i've been doing this youtube thing uh, off and on 2020 kind of i, I, I kind of went full throttle 2021 but i believe in 2020 2021 and uh 2022 and 20 no no sorry 21 22 and now 23 got the years mixed up um we've had to discuss this whole yamato situation gender situation thingamajiggers and I'm, I'm just sick of it okay like i said excuse me previously if the godfather of anime and manga ichiro does come, comes up to say yes uh yamato is indeed trans then you know what <laughs> it is what it is i suppose but until then okay uh it appears to me and the host of one piece fans that yamato is still indeed a woman what do you guys thought about this drop them down below in the comments section if you are not subscribed fam please consider hitting the red subscribe button for more controversial topics and censorship topics in anime manga and gaming right here your support would be greatly appreciated and follow me on twitter link will be in the description box down below looking forward to your comments as always fam i'll see y'all next time peace